So now we're just being fully shampooed through. We get another little rinse to help wet him down again for the last time. And it's time to massage him in. The critical thing is to massage this shampoo in the direction of the coat growth. Never go against the coat, never go sideways. It's just going to make a big mess. You carefully use your fingertips. Don't use your fingernails. You could irritate the skin. If you've got any hangnails or anything like that, you're going to pull coat. So with the fingertips, I just basically work down from the top. Perch. Stop, son. So I'm going to work down from the top all the way back down his body. Not too quickly. You don't want to end up thumping the dog by accident. I'm sure we've all had fingertip bruises from being grabbed by someone too hard. You don't want to do that all over him. And working the shampoo down the shape of the back leg. You end up getting a pretty good suspension on your fingers and it's soothing to them and you're working the shampoo well. Up under the muzzle and the neckline exactly the same process which will be down to one hand as you tend to have to hold them up. <laughs> Bird stay still. So. He's a good boy. Yeah you've been a good boy. And again, judge from how long it takes to shampoo your own hair, the sort of rates of how quickly you rub it. It's going to be about the same thing with them. So to properly, properly massage in the shampoo and work it clean on one side, it's about five minutes or so I find with my guys. I do tend to support the hair under the belly with my back hand. That's just one of the things that I've worked out. Although I will soap out both sides at once very specifically, methodically massage the shampoo, work it through on one side at a time.